Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about how to implement loops in Flow Designer. This is a very common question asked on the community, and we will be discussing two ways by which we can apply loops in Flow Designer. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. So there are broadly two types of loops present on the Flow Designer. The one is do the following until Flow logic and the second is for each flow logic and you can see at the end of both the types that these are flow logic so we will be using both the loops using the flow logics of the flow designer if you are new to flow designers please click on the top right corner and i have explained with a basic example about flow designers so the first one is do the following until flow logic in this flow logic, we will be applying one or more actions repeatedly until the end condition is met. So it is pretty much like the do while loop of the JavaScript or the Java or if any other language you have worked on. The do while loop starts, it executes the loop body. So whatever actions you have defined in the loop body like any addition of record, deletion of record or any updation of record, all that would be executed and then it will check the condition. So that means do while loop will at least execute once before checking the condition. And after checking the condition, if it is true, it will again execute the loop body and it will keep on doing that until the condition is set to false. So you have to ensure that there must be a condition which should be set false after certain number of iterations. So it doesn't go into the infinite loop. That's a basic C++ thing, right? And when it goes to false, the do while loop ends. The second is for each flow logic. Here we will be applying one or more actions again to each record in the list of records. So if you remember your JavaScript there, we usually iterate through an array and we traverse through each element of that array and make some action on it. Similarly, here in the flow designer, we can iterate through records and then make some actions on them or any other flow logic. Similarly, in flow designer, we can iterate through the records. So first we have to query the records and then iterate through them. And then we can do any actions like again, updation, deletion or addition of new records even, or maybe you can just log and print those. It's up to you. So we will quickly go through the demo. And in demo, I will give an example of both the loops. So these examples are very, very straightforward. These are not actual use cases. So I will be demonstrating these examples, which are here to just demonstrate the usage of these loops and to understand them clearly. The first one is do the following until flow logic. And here we will be sending an email to the assignee of the incident and we will be sending that email at every 10 seconds and we will be sending that email until the status of the incident is active. So when it changes to false, we will stop sending those emails. So let's go ahead and create that in flow designer. I'm in my service. Now I will type flow designer and I will click on this. This will open the flow designers. I will click on new and click on flow and I will give here the name do while demo. I will click submit and then we have to add a trigger here. So I will apply the trigger on created. So whenever a record is created on the incident table, we will run this flow designer. I will not add any other condition here. And then I will add a flow logic and in flow logic, I will select do the following until. And if I scroll up a bit, so here, if you see, do the following and then we have to give the action flow logic or a subflow here, and then we have to define the condition. So this do while loop will at least run once for checking the conditions. So here we have to send the email. So I will click on action and I will select send email. And we have to send that email to the assignee of the ticket. So first we will select the target record, which is the incident record. And in two, we have to select the assignee's email ID. So I will go here and I will select assign to. And then under assign to, I will search for email. And I will drag and drop this email here. And then in the subject, I can say do while 
loop demo then i will click on done now we have to put a wait of 10 seconds i will click on this plus and i'll click on flow logic and then i will select wait for duration of time so here i can select number of hours number of minutes or number of seconds for this demo i will be waiting for 10 seconds and then i will click done and now i have to give conditions here i will select this and under conditions i will select the incident record on the right hand side and i will say active is false so this do while loop will be running on the incident record when it is created until it is made active false so an incident records active status changes to false whenever the incident record is closed or it is marked cancelled so we will be creating a new incident record and we will be checking e if the emails are being fired at every 10 seconds and then we will change it to cancel and then the emails should also stop i will click on done and then i will save this and i will activate this flow designer let's go to service now i'm in my service now instance i will type incident dot list and we will create a new incident so i'll click on new i will give the caller as maybe system admin and then i can give any short description maybe do while loop demo now we have to give the assignment group i will select service desk and then i will select assign to as david lu if i don't give assign to the flow designer might throw an error that the email does not exist or the assign to does not exist I will save this and as soon as it is saved, I will go to outbox where the emails going out of the system are stored. If you want to learn more about email configurations in ServiceNow, please click on the top right corner. And you can see this email has been fired from the system do while loop demo. That's the subject which we had given and it has been sent to David Lu. If I click on this and you would see there are two more emails sent to David Lu at the interval of around 11 seconds. So we had given a wait of 10 seconds and it is executing around after 11 seconds. And if I click again, it has executed this email again. Now I will cancel this incident so that it doesn't go into an infinite loop. And then I will click on this created on today again. And this would be the last email which has been sent to David Lu. If I keep clicking on this, no emails would be sent for the do while loop demo. So this is how you can implement do while loop in your service now flow designer. Now we will be looking at the second example for for each and in for each flow logic, we will be sending an email to additional assignees on creation or updation of the problem ticket. So whenever we create a new problem ticket or update a problem ticket, we will be sending an email to each additional assignee of that problem ticket. For that, we will go into service now and I will create a new flow. And I can give the name as for each demo. I will submit this and I will add a trigger of created or updated and I will select that table name as problem. And then I will click on done. And I will give the flow logic as for each. Now we have to give the items through which it has to iterate through. I will expand this problem record and I will search for additional assignee list. I will drag and drop this list here and I will click on done. And then I have to give some action here, which is sending the email to each assignee. So I will select send email. And I will give the target record as problem record. And in two, we will be selecting the list of additional assignees. So if there are five assignees added in additional assignee, there should be five emails fired. Or if there are two, then two emails should be fired. I will give the subject as for each demo. Maybe for each loop demo. And at the end, I will add the email ID of each assignee. For that, I will expand this additional assignee list. And I will search for email and I will add that here. So 
each subject will be for each loop demo and the email of that assignee. I will click on done and I will save this and activate this flow designer. After activating, I will go to service now and search for problem dot list and I will add a new problem and here in the problem statement I would say for each loop demo and I will select some additional assignees so I will add couple of assignees here I will click on this lock and I will select maybe David Lu then maybe able tutor and you can add more people here to send an email to those people and I will lock this and save this problem record as soon as it is saved two emails would be fired to David Lu and able tutor with our subject which we had defined I'll go to outbox again I'll click on created on today so there seems to be some problem here where our flow designer did not execute I will go to flow designer and I will look for executions and here there should be an error and the error is what I suppose is I think emails were not defined correctly because we just dragged and drop and here you see the error as email has no recipients I will go to my flow designer and in the for each demo I will click on cross here and I will give the email ID here so I will expand this user record and search for email so here we will be providing the email which I had incorrectly selected first I'll save this again and activate it and then I will create a new problem record and here I will give again for each loop demo 2 and I will give the same assignees here David Lu and Able Tutor and I will save this after saving I will again go to the outbox I'll click here and we can see there are two emails which have been sent for in the for each loop and both are sent to David Lu and Able Tutor and this is how you use for each loop and do while loop if you still have any questions on these loops please let me know in comments or drop me an email I will surely reach back to you and try to answer those questions if you like this video please do like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you